Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In a world full of distractions, where is your true north? In Christ-centered living, Apostle Joshua Selman shows you how to align your life with Christ at the core. Learn how to navigate life's chaos with Christ as your anchor. Discover the power of living in unity and purpose, with Christ at the center. Find your stability, direction, and purpose in Christ, guiding you to live a life centered on Christ. Let's lift our hands up and bless His name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 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 the Lord. Just one prayer. Father, visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus, please lift your voice. Visit me tonight in the name of Jesus. Visit me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we ask you to help us tonight. In the name of Jesus, we receive access to the spirit of revelation, the spirit of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I greet everyone in Jesus' name. Unto him who sits on the throne. Blessings and honor. church service please listen in an average church service many things happen to people that they never are aware of impartations 
healings your assignment as a ministry is to make the atmosphere conducive that's your job you have no power to change any man listen the assignment is to make the atmosphere conducive for the healing presence of Jesus for deliverances to happen you see that when the atmosphere is set any utterance that comes from that glory will produce results it becomes easy for deliverance to happen don't we are organized people but you see we must be careful so that we do not bring tradition and box the potentials of the holy spirit when we come before him it is because we are aware of our inadequacy so he becomes the lord of the service there is a system of coordination of course but he must be allowed to reign supreme this is the secret let me tell you this is why many people never experience the power of god in church because we don't allow him we come as men of god and want to interrupt him the ushers come to interrupt him the worship team comes to interrupt him but if we can align with him the reason why you are coming is first before you love because you love god second because you are coming to grow thirdly you expect his power to touch an area of your life is that true yes so is 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 time wasted if you come and commit whatever number of hours you spend here and you cannot leave back with an evidence many of you here this is your first experience think how terrible it will be that you left wherever some of you are pastors that came to refire your spirit and get an impartation some of you are leaders in various places how could you come and just watch a man talk for a few hours and share the grace and go it's not only sin it's wickedness it's not only sin against god it is wickedness hallelujah our job is to make sure you experience god in his entirety the program was so designed that every face tackles an aspect of your life and that by the time we are sharing the grace what escaped praise and worship will not escape the fire of prayer what escaped the fire of prayer will not escape revelation you see that so the programs are designed we're, we're not religious people trying to advance a man's ministry god is bigger than that this is serious business of changing people's lives are we together we're excellent people but we're not stupid people when it comes to transformation i'm not um, you can dress well and look well but the moment it comes to the destinies of men we must be serious we must take it seriously because we are stewards by grace and we must be accountable unto god hallelujah praise the lord i'm going to speak briefly um, but I, I want to pray i just want to pray as i was sitting i sensed in my spirit that there were people who needed um, a touch of the holy spirit and and for various reasons these things happen this touch can bring deliverance this touch can bring direction when the holy spirit touches you um there are many reasons why he touches you sometimes even you who is imparted you may not know why but for many people that is the answer to your prayer the anointing comes as the answer to your prayer it is not faith that answers your prayer faith connects you to the anointing it is the anointing that does the job your faith is your conviction faith does not bring result on its own the job of faith is to connect you to the power of god it is the power of god that supplies the possibilities hallelujah so you shouldn't be here having sicknesses having burdens and then we're just preaching and then it's not it's not working in your life so i want to pray for you hallelujah there are families that are represented that deserve the touch of god and um, i know that he will bless us he will lift us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah just two things the lord is imparting the spirit of wisdom this is this is what this is what the lord is speaking to me and this is not everyone but that anointing there is a grace there is an unction
that is going to come on several people is an unction strange grace for wisdom grace for wisdom supernatural grace for wisdom all the overflows whether one two three doesn't matter where you are um, it, it, there are exact impartations that are coming on people right now let me just do that job by the spirit i stretch my hands by the spirit and i command it so now i declare i send an anointing upon the word let the performance of the word be accomplished everywhere inside overflow one overflow two overflow three i command it so in the name of jesus wisdom this is what many of us need in this season is coming upon you that grace that grace wisdom to surmount mountains mountains everywhere there are people following online that grace the angel of his presence is bringing upon your life the hand of god is resting upon you wisdom the spirit of wisdom receive it i know that we're all getting it but there are specific people that this is for you will not escape it once it's for you the word of the lord will look for you will look for you no matter where you are for as long as you are within this vicinity the word of the lord will search for you and that impartation will happen in your spirit in the name of jesus i speak it i command it i decree it as an ordinance in the spirit everyone who must carry this level of grace wisdom wisdom that will bring an end to mountains that stand before you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the second thing that i see the lord imparting is the healing anointing now this doesn't happen all the time but i'm seeing it happen healing anointing the lord wants to bring a new level of the healing anointing in the name of jesus christ there are people that must carry that anointing the lord is saying i have been waiting upon you there are people whose bodies need the touch of the spirit not just you being healed the healing anointing that grace you have seen it in your dreams you have seen it in visions in prayer meetings god has told you but in the name of jesus i activate that dimension in the name of jesus take that anointing take that anointing the healing grace the healing power of jesus the healing power there are some of you who have visited us this is your first time coming but the lord brought you because you need an encounter with that unction in the name of jesus receive receive of that grace let there be a transference of that grace that dwells in the secret place of the most high take it half you reign you reign you you reign you you 
hear in my spirit restoration 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 this is what god is doing restoration opportunities restoration of anointings graces graces connections in the name of jesus i'm hearing it in the spirit restoration restoration god is creating scenarios in people's lives recreating it again recreating it again by the spirit of god restoration 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 make sure you believe it restoration restoration financial restoration spiritual restoration restoration in career opportunities relationships listen there are people here the dimensions of god you used to experience something happened and it looked like that portal just closed i'm hearing in my spirit restoration let there be a reopening of those doors the gate that was open in the spirit that gave you access to that dimension let it be reopened regardless of the reason why it was closed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let it be open many people are looking for they don't know it is him so they are looking for many other things but what people are really really looking for is the Holy Spirit in your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the access that you seek in your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the wisdom that you seek in your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the power that you seek in your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the influence if we will spend half the time we waste around committing to his presence the pursuit not looking for rema not looking for power not not 
that all of these things focusing staying with him there are many prayer warriors that will never find his presence because we have turned it into idolatry there are many fasting giants that may never find him because they are just motions there are many bible study giants that may never find him because we shroud ourselves in activities the power is not in the activities it's in the sincerity of your heart your pursuit it's not in the activities it says and ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart please sit down if you can a lot is already happening now just allow those under the anointing this is koinonia I'd like you to be sensitive tonight as I teach we have begun the year expect impartations impartations mean that God is doing something impartation means that there is a transference you see that there is a transference of possibility and whether you are in any of the overflows let me tell you truthfully speaking the only advantage that those inside have over those outside is just the convenience that does it spiritually speaking those things don't make any there's no difference at all doesn't matter what nation doesn't matter where it's just our psychology to think we are nearer to the man of God God can speak to someone in overflow three smuggling himself somewhere near the wall nobody knows and then God just visits him like that this is the ministry of the spirit hallelujah I want to teach you something tonight that I really believe with all my heart will grant you access to not only have intimacy with God but it will grant you access to walk in the reality of signs and wonders I will continue to teach these things is my assignment to guide us to help us become spiritual people you don't become a spiritual man by frowning your face you don't become a spiritual man by being a talkative you don't become a spiritual man by show of religion it is a dimension in the spirit you climb to when you are there everything around you knows you are there it's an exact location there is no guess about it hallelujah when god gives a word by now you already know that every time prophecy comes there is always a commitment there is always a commitment hallelujah in overflow one there are two people the power of god is coming on please bring them inside i want to prophesy to them you are here working miracles i worship you I worship you the word for those people the Lord says even the lawful captive shall be delivered even the lawful captive I break the siege of witchcraft there is strange operation of witchcraft 
I command the siege of witchcraft to be broken in the name of Jesus even the lawful captives shall be delivered I will contend with them that contend with you I will contend with them that contend with you even the lawful captive the siege over your families the siege is broken right now the siege is broken I decree it and I declare it by the authority of the kingdom the siege is broken the siege is broken the lord says i should continue prophesying it that the siege is broken is broken i use this as a point of contact to speak to everyone under the sound of my voice if there is anything sitting on anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i command in the name of jesus that every chain that holds the destiny of anyone here i command that that chain is broken right now in the name of jesus over your life and over your family i declare that it's broken in the name of jesus please sit down sit down just allow me do my mad thing here for a few minutes we'll get back to the word the spirit of death oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory i shut the mouth of the grave i shut the mouth of the grave why am i prophesying this i shut the mouth of the grave 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 in the name of jesus over every family i shut the mouth of the grave i shut the mouth of the grave I shot the mouth of the grave. Listen, let me tell you. Hold on. That's not what I'm teaching. But you see this grave is a spirit. There are people there that can call people who are alive to come and join them. I have a series there and I will teach you death, hell and the grave. I will teach. The, we have a lot this year. But you see this grave you see is not a pit there are people it was it not a conversation that was happening lazarus and they said please let somebody go there that means someone that is out that's why i say oh grave where is your victory that the grave can choose a person and say bring him to join us i say it again the mouth of the grave the mouth of the grave is shot over every family shot over every individual hallelujah listen don't mind the physical actors that act it can be accident it can be anything it's a lie there is a call the grave as a living thing can pick somebody and say let him come and join us I've seen the spirit of death you know that so for me it's not it's not a it's not a mystery at all hallelujah do you know i once saw a vision of someone a real vision i saw the person already buried but in the physical he was walking happy and ha he didn't reach three months that person died in the realm of the spirit this is already done with the person is alive having plans whereas the grave has called him pray in one minute and shut the mouth of the grave pray don't be afraid 
Parusia. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, oh death, oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I curse you by the God of heaven. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Pray, pray. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Pray for your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Let me talk to that woman. You see this woman? Leave her. She knows why she's coming. Come. I'm looking at this woman and I'm seeing a woman that has already died. It's over with her. This woman I'm seeing. She has been seeing it. Dead men calling her. Calling her in the night. Some of you have seen it. People who have died. That's the grave calling you. Pray again and say I reject that call. I reject that call. death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Makapogoto Sokotoba. We challenge the gates of the grave. We challenge the gates of the grave. We challenge the gates of the grave. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Just help us under the anointing. Hallelujah. This, this is what should be when you come into the presence of God. Burdens lifted, plagues stopped, not time wasted. Not time wasted. Only God knows how many obituaries were averted just by having access to intimacy with the Holy Spirit don't live your life anyhow becoming a victim of the wickedness let me teach you something a am i boring you am i wasting your time next time you have a dream and you see dead people calling you don't get up and just jot it down whether it is raining or not if you have to cancel your job for that day is it not when you are alive you go for work if you get up and see dead people where i don't care whether it's your own mother or father once you are dead is gone the familiar spirits use the face of individuals some of them can be our loved ones they come and they dine with you there are encounters there are people who have died in christ they are called the spirits of just men made perfect i have encountered some of them but this one is dead calling you calling your children sit down and allow the devil come and destroy you that's what happens to people they don't do anything about it and you see and because they don't act one day you find out that you just get up whereas it was concluded remember the book of job they were discussing in heaven and the man was living happily and in one day everything happened that an entity has left this realm does not mean it has stopped functioning this realm is not the only realm where people function there are powers that operate they can go out of this realm and call people jesus knew that principle that's why he stood and called lazarus back 
this is how to be spiritual not just for yourself to help other people now with this knowledge god can reveal to you something the devil wants to do about somebody because you know what to do about it you don't sit down and it happens and say hey i saw it oh you stop it this grave you see read what solomon said about it in the book of proverbs it can never say enough this grave it keeps opening hell and enlarge itself opens receive people finds young people just when people are at the prime of their life that devil comes from wherever don't ever make death look like a mystery it is as predictable a spirit as sickness innocent people plan their lives i don't know why i started talking about this plan their lives and do all. do you know when the devil finds out that there's nothing he can do with your life he can't make you leave god he can't make you this the next plot is to kill you whether or not you die in christ or not at least you are dissociated from your body it's still a plus for him make sure you insist that you are here for a long time there is work to be done give birth to children and before the children are still young you die and leave them and leave them in the hands of wicked people it's not to make you afraid it's to let you know that death can it has it attempts death is boastful he said oh death where is your victory it's important to go where you know god is you don't know when your word and your deliverance when 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 we say invite people it's not because a man of god is looking for fame somebody is the answer to a family that the devil is about to crash just coming to stand in the cold and that's the end of it hallelujah death we're ending that plague you can live long you can live strong by choice and with confidence i choose life you choose life for yourself choose life for your children if they are too small to choose your decision can cover for them until they get to the age of discretion or sit down and allow the devil say this one is small you see how the devil kills children as much as he kills people hallelujah let's try to discuss something thank you so much for those of you who are coming for the first time this is koinonia this is koinonia first john while looking at the epistle of john i want to share a few things about the spirit life god is helping us to build capacity and he's helping us to become spiritual people and part of the the parameters for measuring spirituality like i've taught us is first our conformity to the image of the christ and then second our comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom but then there is a dimension of it that i want to introduce to us tonight and is a dimension where Christ is seated at the heart of every individual and I'm not just talking of born again born again is a decision is a willingness to embrace the Lordship of Christ but there is a journey that a believer must follow to get to a point where Christ is experientially seated in his heart that place is the place of power that place is the place of authority that is the place where satan death hell and the grave can come to you and go back because they do not have anything in you there is a realm of immunity i'm trusting god that we rise as believers to dimensions where we no longer are the receptors of these basic things of the kingdom but we become the distributors of this reality is that true first john chapter 2 and verse 15 a popular scripture here i want us to examine it just listen to me carefully first john chapter 2 thank you jesus first john chapter 2 
first john chapter 2 verse 15 the holy spirit is speaking to me again and i will bring laughter to her family and i will bring laughter to her family i will bring laughter you will hear again the sound of laughter the sound of melody you will hear the sound of laughter you will hear the sound of laughter that's what the spirit of the lord is saying you will hear the sound of laughter you will hear the sound of laughter love not the world neither the things that are in the world please follow me carefully if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him verse 16 for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world 17 and the world passeth away and the loss thereof but he that doeth the will of god abideth forever go back to verse 15 there is a journey into what we call carnality carnality is not um it's not necessarily a bad word it's just a description of a state please listen carefully when we say a man is carnal it's not supposed to be an insult are we together the bible says for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace so the bible gives us the progression of carnality carnality is not materialism carnality leads to materialism are we together carnality is not unrighteousness carnality leads to unrighteousness listen very carefully and this is how the journey starts number one love not the world the word world there is the world system the governing system the system of activities that are in the world it's not just talking about um, um it's not just talking about the cosmos alone you see that it's not just the word cosmos like the social system of the world alone but it also has an extension is the word aeon the the thinking pattern the mentality the system of operation the modus operandi that comes with the world system listen it says love not the world so that is the foundation that's how believers or people become carnal the starting point of carnality is an attachment an attachment to the system listen not receiving cars and houses that's not carnality not prosperity not poverty no that, that's not what i'm talking about many people have taught carnality from a very legalistic and religious standpoint and have robbed people of enjoying the blessings of god that's not what i'm talking about at all but then he says the word there is eros love attachment attachment so the first thing is that when a believer is about to um, begin to walk with God the first dimension of the workings of the spirit is to be able to culture and prune your attachment to this system and the appetites in this system you can have things but when they have you it's called carnality the mistake of the rich fool was not his possession he said my soul find rest that was his mistake not not the abundance but that the basis for his rest was in the supposed acquisition of those things are we together now so the bible says love not the world it's a warning is a warning that if you want to be spiritual do not be attached that means every one of us by default born of a woman there is a probability to be attached with this system the flamboyancy that is associated with this system their their desires and their lusts and their appetites that this is something that by default we can become victims of then he moves further and says neither the things 
that means it is possible that you hate the world and all of that but the things that are there you can be attached to them you see but let me tell you forget about walking with god when the things of this world are glued to you the bible we're, we're, we're still on that journey it says if any man loves the world that means he gives you a little test like saying if any man has a pounding headache there are signs that that man probably has malaria so he's saying that you can check the depth of your love for the the love of god that is at work in you you can easily check it by your attachment your attachment the same way you check your temperature your pressure and all of these things that you can check that love dimension and then it categorizes them into three it says all that is in the world the next verse 16 for all that is in the world can be categorized into three number one he calls it the lust of the flesh the limitations that come to you by reason of wearing a human body if you did not possess a body there are certain things that cannot happen to you but now because you sustain a material body that there are side effects to having this body are we together now and he's saying that you must walk with the holy spirit to culture the attachment that can happen to things by reason of wearing a body and then the second he says the lust of the eyes the limitations that come upon your life on the strength of the things you see how many of you know that the bible says the eye is the light of the body there are things if you did not have capacity to see they will not be planted in your heart the word imagination comes from the word image and that's how we think we think in pictures so you your 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 eyes creates a perception and it latches onto your heart and then it begins to be the basis of your not responding to the impulses of the spirit are we together now the lust of the eyes and then the third is called the pride of life you've heard me teach it the pride of life is different from pride you cannot have the pride of life until you have obvious achievements you can have pride whether or not there is anything that has been achieved but the pride of life is the vain glory and the self glorification that is a derivative of obvious achievements like Nebuchadnezzar having built Babylon he said make me a 90 feet gold of my stature and that at the sound of all the music instruments let all men bow that's the pride of life the pride of life is what happened to Lucifer I will exalt myself above the stars of God I will be like the Most High until he was charged with iniquity are we together now and so he's saying that if you can manage the effect and the influences of these temptations in your life that the love of the father is in you and that this will culminate into a life that is spiritual listen the depth to which the power of God flows through you all these miracles these signs and wonders that you see they don't just happen because hands are laid please I, I like us let's let's be um, please come David Dam. let's let's not make a fool of ourselves here there is a limit to which you can walk in the anointing just by laying on of hands there are dimensions you have to dig that spiritual well by yourself a track record that is known by principalities and powers and angels and all the forces in the heavens you don't just speak and then god it looks like god owes your word attention no sir no sir for i am a man under authority and the authority recognizes my submission and my loyalty and on the strength of my submission i say to one go and he goes i say to another come it's not my eloquence it is the authority and my degree of submission to that authority are we together now so he says love not the world brothers and sisters let me tell you thank you david this is the problem that jesus came to solve you see 
if you have an encounter with jesus listen he's not going to ask you whether you believe in the old or new testament that that is nonsense jesus is not going to ask you all those things jesus is not going to ask you and say which part of the ten commandments did you keep or which law the god no 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 he's going to ask you one question just one question his emphasis is to see whether you are seated at the throne of your own heart or he's seated at the throne of your own heart is called christ self-centeredness and self-centeredness christ-centeredness is when christ is the epicenter the pivot of your life this is what jesus came to give us it is from the standpoint of that state that everything you have can profit you God so designed that you can acquire things without Christ being at the center of your heart but that becomes your undoing because they will destroy you and wreck your life brothers and sisters I don't care how many hours you pray I don't care how many Bible study concordances you have I don't care how many services you have per week if you have not assumed a posture in the spirit where Christ is at the epicenter of your heart you are carnal period period you are as carnal as the word carnal it's true it's not an insult it's a description it's a state of a believer you are spiritual not just to the degree to which you pray in tongues you are spiritual not just to the degree to which you access revelation by diligence you can commit your mind and your spirit to access light without being spiritual theologians have spent years i mean remember the scribes and the pharisees they were carnal yet they had the five books of moses out of heart so knowing the scripture by head is not necessarily a proof of spirituality it can be helpful provided christ is at the center of your heart the foundation for a life of greatness listen the foundation for a life of the miraculous any man and woman of God you see around the earth that God is using mightily to do great things carrying and hosting the presence of God that individual has true sacrifice come to a point where Christ is at the epicenter of their lives not money not fame not cars not houses are we together not wife not husband not marriage that does not mean you are unconnected to these things but that christ sitting in your heart now gives value whatever comes comes under his authority if you don't get this this is this is this is power 101 if you don't get this thing forget about spiritual power there are fasting giants who fast with them they are getting lean but they are still sitting on the throne of their heart no side won't walk that way christ must become the center of your life and you can know your attachment your attachment to things your attachment to this system is God helping us mm. when your life becomes Christ centered your life will speak particular languages number one thy will be done thy will be done is the language of men and women who have crucified flesh and self and that Christ is entirely allowed to be glorified in their lives number two that all that is done in and through your life becomes to reveal Jesus the revelation of Jesus becomes the obsession of your life not the revelation of your prestige not the revelation of your educational prowess not the revelation of oratory and money and power and influence and all of these things the revelation of Jesus in and through your life this is a language that is a commitment from a life that Christ is at the center number three that any and all that you do becomes for his glory the Lord's Prayer for thine is the kingdom the power and glory thine is the kingdom 
I receive all of the blessings but yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory the Bible says and they glorified God in me do you know listen do you know the reason why the more I by the grace of God keep learning about God I am seeing why it is hard come David Dam why it is hard for many people to get the attention of God and to be committed with certain things remember my miracle service message last Friday can God trust you that's a powerful message go and sit down and listen to it because what God gives you is a measure of his trust for you it's, it's as simple as that if there are dimensions you are praying about and say Lord lift me up take me high and God says no way stop praying and say no God ask Lord what is it in me that is the resistance what is in anointing that God cannot give you what is in prosperity that God cannot give you Mike shared a very powerful scripture here that he that did not spare his son but offered him freely shall he not much more with him give us all things but God is not a fool just because he said I will give you all things does not mean you just say come and carry all things he will vet your heart until he finds himself there are we together think about the things that we pursue just think for a moment list them in your mind you don't have to chorus them but list them money career power anointing revelation children wife husband house whatever it is cars and all of that none of these things in themselves destroy but when they come to you the state of your heart can make them evil or good are we together now yes do you know the foundation for jealousy listen the foundation for envy backbiting and all of these things is one word self 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 it is because i want to give a perception that i am a big man so if somebody calls me Joshua Selman I now say where is the apostle you didn't add it you see that my ego resonated with something that is locked up within me and I react so I say this this guy you are not you are disrespecting me you are trying to say I'm not anointed you see that and this is our lives on earth are is like an, an action film people acting out the level of flesh and self and carnality sometimes we call it spirituality but it's really carnality really carnality love not the world brothers and sisters i show you a secret to rest this is where high blood pressure comes from hello hello this is where high blood pressure ask the doctors they will tell you self-inflicted worrying my ego is on the line see right my ego is on the line if this thing is not done i prophesy to david dam if that word does not come to pass they will now think i'm not an accurate man of god so my ego is on the line i'm not desirous of the prophecy to happen because i want to see his life change i am more concerned about the validation of my anointing than his own change that's the problem the scribes and the pharisees had it was not healing they would not have a problem if it happened through their hands but the fact that it didn't happen through their hands they just found an excuse and say madam don't get healing on sunday and jesus said what are you saying if your donkey falls inside a well on sunday will you leave it there and say i'll come back on monday you like money and you are talking this woman her, her health is more than your own donkey if your donkey falls inside a well won't you go and get it hypocrites jesus told them do you know if i can bring every one of us to a point where nothing in this life can take the place of christ i have brought you to a place is a level in the spirit where you will watch satan like this and he will watch you like the gulf that separated the rich man and abraham this is how you will stand truly speaking 
this is what empowers satan in our lives you know i've taught this year in this house comes when satan comes satan is not as accurate as we think he is listen when he comes he wants to know what is in your heart and the way he will know it is by touching areas in your life at random if he touches your relationship and you don't react he says it doesn't mean anything to you he touches money that's the one that's the area he gets for many of us he just touches your your hundred naira disappears and say no way we are fasting in this house who can't the devil says that's it that's it you think because you mention fasting god is glorified have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to jesus or you want to rededicate your life to jesus christ as your lord and savior then say this short prayer lord i admit i am a sinner I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. Dot in your precious name. Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.